Hello everyone, my name is Kenton Cavescu. I'm an ex-Googler, an ex-BCG consultant, and the founder of Rocketblocks, an online platform that helps candidates prepare for interviews. In this Rocketblocks mini lesson, I'm really excited because we're sitting down with Lenny Richitsky. Lenny was recently a product lead at Airbnb where he spent the last seven years working on host quality, supply growth, and guest conversion. Before Airbnb, he actually was the co-founder and CEO of a company called LocalMind, which Airbnb acquired in 2012. In this conversation, we're gonna talk about all things related to the craft of product management, so let's go ahead and jump in. Tell me a little bit about when you think about the, the craft of product management, what do you think is the most underrated skill? Like there's a lot of posts out there about, okay, here's like all the skills you need to be a product manager. I'm curious, what your take is on which skill is most underrated that people aren't thinking about and aspiring product managers and how to break into the craft? I think the most underrated is is essentially maintaining the morale and cohesion of the team. Yeah, so so like as a PM, you're not like managing anyone and you're not technically responsible for any person on the team, but you're still actually responsible for the outcome of the team and the success of the team and the output of the team. And so that equates to is you still have to care really deeply about how happy everyone on the team is and how productive they are and if they're feeling like they know what's going on. And so you're basically spending a lot of time one-on-one -on -one with engineers and designers and product and, and data scientists, researchers that aren't reporting to you in any way, but that you have to be responsible for. Uh, because in the end, the success of the team is going to reflect on you as a PM. So it's yep. a lot of these like behind the scenes, kind of just like checking in and keeping everyone happy and, and productive. Yep, that makes a ton of sense. Yeah, I mean, mo figuring out how to sort of motivate the team and what works for different types of team members, I've found is right. it's always an interesting puzzle and it's, it is super important. Uh, like, because, you know, I, I don't know what your perspective is exactly on this, but essentially as a PM, you are you are not really doing any real work per se. You are <laughs> trying to help everyone else do their real work as best as possible. Yeah, exactly. The way, the way I like to describe the job of a PM is uh, your job is to marshal the resources of the team to drive business impact through product. And so a bunch of that work is just like marshalling the team and making sure they're happy, productive, motivated. Yep. Sticking yeah. on the team, you know, not leaving the team. Totally, and and happy people do good work, so that makes sense. Exactly. Um, on, the, on the flip side, tell me a little bit about what is the most overrated skill in the in the product management canon, like the skill that everyone sort of talks about. Or you must have this, but many PMs either don't and still succeed. You know, what do you think that is? I would say it's a uh, it's vision. And where this comes from is at Airbnb and I think at most other companies, there's this attribute uh, that every PM has to kind of, like all these attributes of how to be promoted, how to level up, how to be successful as a PM of how you measure at a company if you're good. And I yeah. think most companies have like vision as one of them. And I find most PMs that I work with, that's the one they most often struggle with as they try to move up in their career. But I also find that it's like not actually that important to be incredibly good at it, to be successful as a PM. Mm. If you're really good at executing, leading, uh, collaborating, strategy especially. Um, and so I think a lot of people think it's important to have this grand vision and ability to tell this like very inspirational big story, which is great if you can. And that's a superpower if you're good at that. But you can also be incredibly successful without being very strong at that. Yeah. I think that's a really good point, and I think if you think about you know companies that are, once you get to like mega scale like Google, for example, that there's there's you know a handful of key visions probably driving that company forward or, or hopefully are, but especially at like a smaller company, like as long as there is a vision, I think sometimes it can be even hard if you are say a very vision driven PM and you're trying to create your own if it is not in perfect you know harmony with the overall company vision that actually might be more detrimental than positive, right? Yeah, and then the, and then there's also just like PMs that are just really good at vision and not actually good at executing, and that's not that's a bad way to that's yeah that doesn't work well. Yeah, it's tough, uh, right? Because the job's like 100, well, not 100, percent but very close to that executional. 
Yeah, exactly. And then the other point I just thought about is you can also rely on other people on your team that are better at grand vision and storytelling as a PM. Often it's a designer is what I find. And, mm -hmm. and just kind of team up on this kind of stuff if you're not incredibly naturally talented at painting this grand you know, vision and picture. Yeah, that makes sense. And I think that's an interesting point about finding someone that, that is better at that and, and pairing with him or her. Um, Cause that's a great way to, you know, to work together and also just like build like a collaborative sort of ethos on a team. Exactly. Win-win. Yep. Great. I hope you enjoyed that snippet from my conversation with Lenny. Thank you so much for watching. We have a ton of great content coming out on both the product management and consulting career paths on a weekly basis. So if you haven't subscribed yet already, please do so. There is a big button on screen right now. And if you click that, you'll get all of our content as soon as it comes out. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day.